Hey what's up guys this is Sandeep Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Linux Mint 21.3 and Windows 10 or 11 so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all open your web browser and type Linux Mint and then click on download from the official link of Linux Mint. After that choose your desktop environment I recommend you to choose the cinnamon edition and download the Linux Mint ISO file. After that, open another tab and search for Rufus and then click on the official link of Rufus and download the latest version of Rufus to make a bootable USB of Linux Mint. Now insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make a backup of your pen drive data before proceeding. Now go to your downloads directory and open Rufus. Now select the Linux Mint ISO file which we just downloaded earlier. Now for the partition scheme, go to the Windows search and type system information and check for BIOS mode. If it is UEFI then you need to select GPT otherwise you need to select MBR now after that click on start and it will start creating a bootable USB of Linux Mint this process is going to take some time so I'm going to fast forward this part Now once this process is completed, close Rufus and then right click on your start menu and open disk management. Now after that, choose a local disk with large volume and then right click on it and select shrink volume. Now give at least 40 GB of space for Linux Mint and then shrink. Now close everything and it's time to reboot to Linux Mint ISO from USB. Now while your PC is restarting, press either F12 key or escape key in some laptops to boot into the boot selection menu and choose USB option from the list. After that, your PC will start to boot from the Linux Mint USB which we just created. So finally we have booted into the Linux Mint Live ISO. Now first of all I recommend you to check everything first before installing and once you have checked everything you can click the install Linux Mint. Now it will open up an installer and it will ask you to choose a language and then your keyboard layout and then I recommend you to connect to the internet while installing Linux Mint. Now if you have secure boot enabled then choose do not configure secure boot. After that for partitioning choose the something else option at the bottom. Now you need to find the free space which we created on Windows. As you can see this is my 40 GB free space. Now select the free space and then click on the plus icon. And then you need to format the partition as ext4 and you need to mount this partition as root partition which is for the forward slash. Now for the bootloader installation. 
if your system is UEFI as you have seen earlier from Windows system information then you need to select the option with Windows boot manager on it otherwise you can leave the bootloader installation option as default Now choose your correct time zone and then fill your user details and after that it will start installing Linux Mint. This process is going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward this part as well. So finally Linux Mint installation is complete. Now click on restart now and it will ask you to remove the USB first before restarting so just remove your USB and press enter and after that each time you start your computer you will see a menu to choose between the operating system. So for now I am going to boot into Linux Mint. So as you can see we have installed Linux Mint successfully. Now let's try to reboot and boot into Windows to check if our Windows is working or not. So as you can see we are also able to boot into windows just as fine. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.